best fertilizer for your seedlings and how to fertilize your seedlings hello welcome to seven savings garden where we talk about gardening ways to save money and other special events if you're new to the channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all upcoming videos hello everybody so today we're gonna talk about how you can fertilize your seedlings uh when you plant seeds uh especially if you start seeds indoors uh you want to make sure your seedlings have everything that they need to be able to uh, thrive and do well so I'm gonna show you some of the things that I do to fertilize some of the best things that I do to fertilize uh, my seedlings and to make sure that I have a good uh, seedling at the end of the uh, seed starting period so let's take a look at some of the options that we you have and some of these you don't need to uh, go very far to get it some some of you already have this in their home some of some of it you have to buy it so let's take a look at the various options we have so for um for fertilizing your seedlings you want to make sure that uh, your seedlings have leaves like these usually you want to make sure that it's um they have the uh, first set of leaves already and now uh, they come in out with second set of leaves before you start uh, fertilizing you can still do it if some of them don't have the uh, second set of leaves leaves yet as you can see here this one has two sets of leaves uh, this one has the first the first one and the second one uh, that's when you want to start uh, fertilizing but uh, you can still do it when it's still earlier uh, so usually what I do is the first set of fertilizer or uh, providing fertilizer for my seed uh, or my seeds uh, seedlings is we're starting with a seed, uh, seed starter mix my seed starter mix I put uh, compost rich compost when making my seed starter mix so it already has some nutrients in there for the plants when they start germinating and they start uh, coming out like this so the second thing that you want to do is uh, you want to make sure that they have enough nutrients for them to uh, to, to continue to grow and produce much better results uh, by using other fertilizers that are available so these are some of the top fertilizers that I use for seed for my uh, seed starting and I'll go through each of them and I'll show you what um, what to do and uh, how I use each of them so the first one we're gonna start with is we're gonna start with Epsom salt um, with Epsom salt uh, it's very easy to do um, it's good to provide a lot of nutrients for the seedlings to grow so what you do is you get a tablespoon of Epsom salt to a gallon of water um, and then uh, you put a tablespoon to a gallon of water mix it up and then you use it to water uh, your seedling and uh, you want to make sure that you water uh, the seedlings um, you can do it like once in a couple of weeks or once in three weeks or once in a month or once every two weeks that's all up to you but uh, especially if you're growing peppers and other stuff uh, it's very very beneficial uh, to use uh, Epsom salt magnesium sulfate when starting your seeds if you like the video please smash the like button if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share so the next one that we uh, that I use is I use you can use fish fertilizer or Neptune fish fertilizer and seaweed uh, these ones are the same thing they all they provide uh, similar uh, nutrients uh, this one just has more um, phosphorus uh, than this one this one provides more nitrogen so you can use um, you can use any of them uh, you can check your local stores for all these all these um, uh, fertilizers that I'm talking about um, I also see if I can put a link in the description below for some of these if you want to just get it directly online you can you can do that too so let's do um, I'll show you how I do this uh, with the uh, uh, fish fertilizer so we're gonna start with that one and I'll show you how I I do it and how I apply it to my seed uh, my uh, seedlings so when mixing this you want to shake it first before you mix it so that way everything is mixing there so you want to shake it first completely and then um, we're just gonna use our um, we can, I, I'll just use my cup but just make sure that you use a tablespoon of uh, use a tablespoon to a gallon of water this is my gallon of water so I'm just gonna put a tablespoon um, I, I've been using it so much that I, I know the estimate uh, that should give me uh, like a tablespoon of it and then you want to mix it up 
um, just use any any tool you have anything you want just use it to mix it up make sure it's completely mixed and then we're gonna apply to our so if you're gonna spray directly on the uh, on the ceilings you want to use a sprayer but this one I'm, I'm putting it mostly uh, in the uh, tray below so since I'm putting it uh, into the reservoir of the sea starting trays, um, that's why I'm using this. I'm not using a sprayer, so I just put it. Uh, the best way to fertilize um, uh, your or to water your ceilings is to put it. Um, let the let the soil absorb it, and then the plants get it from the soil. So that is it. It should uh, give this enough uh, nutrients over there. So we'll do the same. Uh, for these other one right here The tray that you're using doesn't have a reservoir on it. You can do this You can carry it like this put it in a bigger tray Bigger tray like that and then you put a put your um, solution in the tray like that and it should be able to absorb it just like that you can also use a watering can like this and just water it but i prefer uh the uh, ceilings getting the uh the, the fertilizer and the water from the roots another way to fertilize your ceilings would be um compost tea you can use compost tea uh, uh to fertilize your seedlings or you can use it to water your regular plants so i have a video that shows you how to make compost tea it's cheap it's organic and it gives a, your seedlings a boost of energy so try compost tea you can use the warm castings or you can use uh the water from your warm bin and it should still uh do the trick so but you have to dilute it and uh uh, if you're using the uh, water from your warm bin, you just want to dilute it uh, like 5 to 1 or 10 to 1 for seedlings and you should be able to get some good results from that. Let me know if you have other great ways to fertilize your seedlings or if you have different ways of fertilizing your seedlings. Please let me know in the comments below. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel and share. Thanks for watching. Happy growing.